Amid a growing housing shortage in 2008, the LA City Council passed a law ordering 300 low cost residential hotels to remain available for people who can't afford to live anywhere else. 15 years later, an investigation is finding that some of these properties are now renting to tourists and have been for years for hundreds of dollars a night. Now, for more on this, we are joined by Capitol and Maine reporter Robin Yurovich. Your reporting appears in ProPublica. Robin, it is some pretty eye-opening reporter. Thank you for what you're doing. Uh, let's start with this little-known law, the residential hotel law. What is that? Well, uh, as you said, what we found was that the city is passing up an opportunity to have more housing than it does at a time that it desperately needs it. And it, we found that, you know, in the, what we looked into was that there is a residential hotel law, a law that allows, that requires these 300 buildings with about 16,000 units to be preserved um, as long-term housing. Um, but what we found, as you said, was that um, the law was going unenforced. Um, and it's a real mixed bag. I mean, we found that 21 hotels um, with about 800 units were advertising rooms to tourists. Some were on the boutique side. Some were, you know, low cost budget hotels. But this was housing that was unavailable to the people that it was supposed to be available to by law. So if they're blatantly advertising to tourists, essentially saying, you know, there's a law in place, we're ignoring this, come stay with us, we'll take care of you while you're in uh, the city of Angels. Why are so many of these hotels able to skirt the law? What's being done in, in terms of enforcement? It doesn't sound like a whole lot. We found that very little was being done. I mean, we started by spot checking, you know, and looking for ads. And we found that the hotels were not hiding this at all. I mean, obviously, if you're advertising, you're not hiding. But they, some of them had websites that were aimed at attracting tourists. Um, others were on Expedia and Hotels.com. Um, on the facades of the hotels, you know, they were clearly trying to attack, attract tourists. There were signs on the outsides of the buildings. There is just really no attempt at hiding this. And we just found out that the housing department, which is supposed to enforce this law, was just not doing it. I mean, inspectors had been in and out of the hotels. Um, once we found that um, this advertising was happening, we asked for thousands of pages of documents and went through them to find out if any of these hotels had been legitimately exempted from the law or how much enforcement had really gone on and we found that there was very little well we know that uh, you know at the forefront of the administration the bass administration the new administration it is the homeless crisis and getting people inside off the streets you're reporting after it came out in ProPublica, there was some reaction from the bass administration where does that stand now and how has your reporting changed things overall well, we're continuing to look and to monitor and to see if it does change things. But what I can tell you is that um, the day after our report ran, the Bass administration ordered the housing department to come up with a report on the hotels that we reported on and um, to report on how this was allowed to happen and how to prevent it in the future. Um, and we are now looking over that report, and we plan to be um, reporting on it ourselves in the next couple of days. But what we do know now is that 17 hotels were cited. They were issued notices to comply. Um, some were fined, although the fines are pretty minimal. Mm -hmm. um, and each of those hotels has now appealed. So. Hmm. They're going to have hearings at the housing department. The housing department says those hearings will take place um, by the end of November. Uh, well, well, thank you again for all that you're doing. Uh, sounds like there is a lot more reporting to do that you should be doing and that we should be doing here at Fox 11. So Robin Yurovich, you can check out her reporting in ProPublica. Thanks so much for being with me tonight. Thank you so much. Take care.